Welcome! Today I will talk about why and how a new toxic player report system could work and why Rainbow Six Siege really needs it. As this game continues to grow, it also have attracted more and more toxic players and I think Ubisoft really need to take care of the issue before it gets even worse. So if we start by looking at the real reason why people are being toxic in video games. In an article on Mike.com, Kat Liu, a PhD student and researcher in online communities and harassment at University of California, gave a really good answer around this topic. If I read back her quote, she says, It's well documented in research, anonymity is not what makes people toxic. It's things like lack of consequences or community norms and how those norms are reinforced by their local communities and their peers. Because if there are actual consequences, people do actually act more respectfully. And here I think we have Siege's biggest problem. Ubisoft never thought this game would continue to grow like this and be this successful. That's why I don't think they included a more detailed reporting system for toxic players. Since that takes a lot of time and effort from their side. And I don't think they thought that Dream of Six Siege would be this big or live this long. As of now, there's almost zero consequences to toxic behavior in Siege. And since this has been going on since the release almost two years ago, the norm in the community is slowly going to a more acceptance of toxic behavior and with the norm change, more people will do it. The only way to report a player right now for toxic behavior, to record a video or take a screenshot and then go to Ubisoft website and submit the report manually. There is no way to do this in game. Right now we only have the report suspicious behavior. This feature could be vastly improved by Ubisoft. Other games such as CSGO and now also Overwatch have a more detailed reporting system where you can select what reasons you are reporting a player for. If it's for example for toxic chat messages, offensive player names, cheating, team killing and so on. Of course. The most important thing here is what happens to those reports. A real person can't watch all of these reports, but if you get more specific reasons for that report than just suspicious behavior, it's easier to both automate this to a bot can decide who gets banned and who doesn't. And also for it make it quicker for a person to actually review this stuff. For example, if a player gets X amounts of reports for team killing, Ubisoft should be able to get that data from that player and match it to see if it's correct and then let a bot take action and ban that player. For toxic chat and play names, it's harder to go by a bot since it could get this wrong. For example, if it only goes by the number of reports, a Twitch chat could for example easily take down a streamer if everybody is going to report that person at the same time. And if you set the system to automatically detect use of specific words, you could actually ban the person who was defending someone saying that you should not use this specific word. But a more detailed reporting system makes it easier and faster for Ubisoft to take action. For example, when an account reaches X amount of reports for toxic chat, they can have a manual review on that account and see if that person needs to be banned. Sure, this will take time and money from Ubisoft, but Rainbow Six is growing and it's growing fast. But toxic playbase is like a virus to a game and they need to start dealing with this sooner rather than later. Because just as we talked about earlier, the longer this game goes on with absolutely no consequences for toxic behavior, it will continue to change the norm around the player base to a more acceptance and wider spread of this type of behavior. A problem for console players is that Microsoft and Sony owns the servers, so Ubisoft don't have full control over that. And there's somewhat of an issue between Ubisoft and Microsoft and Sony on whose responsibilities and how the players behave on their servers. Overwatch used the new reporting system also on consoles and they released a video last week where they talked about their new reporting system. They said that 340,000 of the 480,000 accounts that Blizzard have taken action against is after play reports. So as you can see the report play function plays a crucial role here in Overwatch to fight toxic players. A system like this will never be perfect but almost anything is better than what we have in place in Siege right now. What do you think about the state of Siege right now when it comes to toxic players? Do you feel like it's getting worse? Please let me know down in the comments and also mention if you're on PC, PlayStation or Xbox so we can see if there's any difference between the platforms. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as it really helps me out more than you know. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more weekly Rainbow Six Siege videos. 
I will see you next time.